Alabama.com. The Alabama House has passed a bill revising the state's code of ethics, loosening existing restrictions and altering potential penalties. News 19's Kayla Smith explains now how the changes could impact our elected officials and state employees. For the first time since 2010, members of the Alabama House have passed a bill rewriting the Alabama Code of Ethics. The last measure significantly increased penalties. This bill scales them back. Sponsor Representative Matt Simpson said he wanted to increase the accountability of the state's Ethics Commission, currently an independent body. Best to make sure that there's somebody that doesn't have a kingdom up, that somebody that has to answer to the people that has oversight over that commission. But News 19 political analyst Jess Brown says a degree of separation between the Ethics Commission and state legislature exists for a reason. The proposed change? It puts the fox in the hen house. The bill would allow the attorney general and the legislative council made up of leaders in the Alabama legislature to remove the director of the state's ethics commission. The provision in the House passed ethics bill that gives the legislative council a greater role is also an indirect way of giving the major interest groups and their lobbyists more influence. The bill increases criminal penalties for offering bribes. It also allows elected officials and government employees to receive gifts of any amount from friends. It gives, in my view, a much wider definition to who is a friend of a legislator than it does under current law. This bill would also increase the amount of money donors and lobbyists can spend on gifts for officials, moving that figure from $33 to $100 with a new $500 cap per year. In Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall has criticized that bill, calling what public officials can receive from special interest groups a, quote, dramatic expansion of the current limits. By the way, that bill now heads to the Alabama Senate.